Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your May 2020. How do they feel about you reading? Sagittarius, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Okay, Sagittarius, this is for you. We are going to see how this person is feeling about you, and we are going to see if they're going to take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. How do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they feel? Ooh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. We're going into a Venus retrograde, right? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And we have a soulmate connection. Yes, this is your soulmate. So they feel you are their soulmate. And they want to return to you, right? So let's dig a little deeper here and see what is going on. All right, this is for Sagittarius. For May 2020, how do they feel about Sagittarius? If this resonates with you, Sagittarius, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Sagittarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however, it resonates with you. This is for Sagittarius. How do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they feel? How do they feel? This is a huge change. You guys had a bad... They've upped their game, I tell you that much. Or they feel like they have. I feel like you stood your ground with this individual. Um blocking involved i feel like some of you may have blocked them from social media and at the very least blocked them from your heart but they're coming back around again and it's and they've taken time to do that you guys had an ending here and and you could be dealing with a scorpio or somebody with strong scorpio in their chart um but there was an ending and this person had to go and fix themselves and elevate themselves because you weren't dealing with them Whatever they were doing to cause this ending, you kind of had it. And you stood your ground with this person. And they know that they have to step up their game in order to win you back. And they're ready. They're ready to win you back. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be a huge transformation. This person that you're dealing with has underwent a huge transformation. Okay? So... And let me show you this progression. I just want to show you this progression. Okay. This is what I'm seeing. So I feel like this person, they started off, because I'm seeing it right here, right before my eyes, they started off as page, a page, a little bit immature, this and that. And I feel like maybe you gave them a second chance or something along the lines. They're coming through as a knight. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, 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 maybe they're getting it right. Now they're coming through as the king. So you see how this is progressing here. So definitely a transformation. Let me put all this up. I told you this person is going through some sort of a transformation here. And maybe they're finally getting it right. Do you see that? See that transformation? Um, so that's kind of cool how that fell out. Um, so did they really change? I feel like they did with, with that. I, I, I can, I can say that they did. And it's all very grounded, sincere energy coming through with these pinnacles here. It's earth, right? So page of pinnacles, this person may try to reach out to you in a practical everyday way. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Or at least try to, right? Now, if you have blocked them, and I do see that here with the seven of 
um, wands here, they're going to get a message to you one way or another. Um, maybe they, you know, ran into a mutual family member or a friend and this person comes back to you and said, oh, hey, such and such was asking about you, seeing how you was doing, that kind of thing. Maybe if you got them blocked on all social media, they make a fake account and get a hold of you anyway. Um, where there is a will, there is a way. Uh, but this is going to be a practical, hey, how are you? That kind of thing. Page of, of Pentacles, they're testing the waters here. It is a sincere communication. They know they broke your heart. And now they miss you. There's a lot of tears here. There is a lot of hurt here between the two of you. A lot of pain. And I feel like they realize they the mistakes that they made. And they went and changed themselves for you. Three of Swords, that is air energy. They, they know that this is how they left you. Very defensive. So if, if they don't come to you correctly, Sagittarius, they know that you're not going to let them back in. And if they don't, if, and there's a chance you may not, but this person has transformed. And I feel like they have awakened to the soul connection between you. I see that. But you, they left you as the wounded warrior because they broke your heart because of some sort of an ending here. Um, whatever they did to cause this pain and this ending between the two of you left you with your walls way, way up. You're very defensive. You're very defensive here, Sagittarius. Wounded warrior, right? Nine of wands, it's fire energy. So, Sagittarius, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid, so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now in the future. Some of you may have already dealt with a situation like this. Um, cross watchers, keep in mind, um, some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, you assign the roles as you wish. So we got Knight of Pentacles here. So this offer, very slow. This person, I, I feel, took the appropriate amount of time to um, fix themselves they fix themselves for you and now they have offers that they want to deliver right but it's been a long time coming knight of pentacles that is earth energy so they've stepped up their game you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign here somebody with strong earth in their chart whatever the sign they've stepped up their game uh, King of Pentacles, energy, looks for long term. They want you to know that they're going to be dedicated. They want you to know that they're going to be loyal. This is what they want you to know. Right? Now, whether you believe that is a different obstacle. I feel like this person is going to have to prove themselves. Prove that they're the right person. Prove that they're the right person with the right offers. Prove that they are Mr. or Mrs. Right. Because um, before it felt, and the way that they left you, they were acting like Mr. and Mrs. right now. So, yeah, definitely a transformation. That's for sure. So, with this card here, the Seven of Wands and this Nine of Wands, you're on defense. That's clear. You're on defense. So you're standing your ground. They know they got their work cut out for them. They know it's going to be a challenge. And this is why they're coming to you with absolutely everything they got. Everything they've got. Making sure those offers are as shiny and new as possible. They want you to see them in a completely different light. All right. This is for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. How is this person feeling about Sagittarius? Any more information in regards to how this person is feeling or what actions they will take towards Sagittarius? Man. 
endings, endings all over this. So they're manifesting. Like I said, they're going to do whatever it takes to win you back. Whatever it takes to win you back. They feel like they've got all the tools to do it. They're manifesting it, using that law of attraction, visualizing the two of you together, praying about it, meditating on it, whatever they got to do, right? And they, they went and they have collected all these tools to make it happen. They got the sword for communication, the wand for passion, the cup for love, and the pinnacle for success. They're pulling from all the elements and creating or trying their best to create a new beginning here with you. Problem is... All these tens got a ten of swords, ten of wands, and the death card. So there was a very difficult and painful ending here. You feel betrayed. So they know they have to come at you in the most grounded and sincere way possible to try to fix this. To try to fix it, Sagittarius. It's going to be very, very hard for them to fix this. There is a lot of pain here between the two of you. So, Ten of Swords, that is air energy. They themselves are having a hard time letting go. I feel like whatever happened between the two of you, wherever they went, it didn't work out the way they thought that it was going to work out. And, and now they had to completely rejuvenate themselves, a completely change themselves in order to be the person that you need it. So they've never been able to fully let go of you. You, on the other hand, you're pretty exhausted, right? But I feel like there is a huge chance um, for some of you that this person's going to be able to Get you to take all of these wands right here and bundle them up. So this is your defenses, right? So you bundle them up and you lay them down. So they may be, they may be able to show you. They may be able to prove themselves to you. And you will, for some of you, will let down your defenses. Again, it's entirely up to you. Seems like a very difficult ending that the two of you went through together. So, we got the hangman here. Wait and see. Wait and see. This person's going to be very self-sacrificing in this situation. Right? They're going to be very self-sacrificing. Whatever you need, however long you need to take, they're willing to wait it out. They're willing to put the time, the energy, and the effort into this situation to get you to bring those walls down because they've got their mind set on you, right? Their head's all lit up and this is you. You are the one. You are their soulmate. So they're not giving up on this anytime soon, Sagittarius. They've, they've had an awakening moment, right? They have, wait, they have awoken to this soulmate connection. All right, so Sagittarius, that is your How Do They Feel About You reading. And I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links because we do have some imposters out there. So please do follow the links. Um, what else, Sagittarius? Next week, I'm going to be working on the May 2020 mid-month reading, so check that out. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released, and the live schedule, I usually go live every day, either live or a pre-recorded premiere every day, but Saturday around noon, Eastern Standard Time. You can find all of that information down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. Sagittarius, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. It's a very interesting reading. It's very clear this person caused you a lot of heartache. 
um, but they've changed they've really changed so and it's because they know what you are now they, they recognize the connection it was like a the universe had to come and just kind of slap them into reality <laughs> now whatever you want to do here with this right all right Sagittarius that is for you I hope you have enjoyed your reading you take very good care of yourself and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I will talk to you very soon. Take care and God bless.